Ken Russell died six years ago. He was 84, and he passed away while I was finishing a book about him, uh, about a movie specifically that he directed called The Devils. The Devils is uh, the story, the true to life story of demonic possession, or was it mass hysteria, or was it some kind of weird reaction from this wheat that these nuns in the 1630s in France were eating that had gotten wet and grew a mold that was somewhat akin to LSD, whatever it was. It caused some very strange things to happen in a movie that I think is a masterpiece, but it's one that has been chopped up and butchered over the years. Joe Dante told me that every time that you saw that movie in its original 1971 release, and every time for the next few years you'd have a look at it, and it would be slightly different. Another local censor board would have come by and chopped out a scene or, or you know, carved out put their fingerprints on it somewhere, and it's because it's an outrageous movie that features naked nuns, it features uh, a scene called The Rape of Christ, uh, but Ken Russell was a deeply religious man, he was a, a Catholic, a convert to Catholicism, and this was his way of, I guess, having a look at his religion and his, his belief structure and making comments on it. It's a fascinating movie, if you can see it. If you can see it in its uncut splendor, do so. Anyway, so I come to that because I missed Ken Russell's birthday. It was July 3rd. Happy birthday, Uncle Ken. Uh, to celebrate, a little bit late, the belated birthday celebrations begin with William Friedkin. Now, William Friedkin directed a movie, of course, called The Exorcist. Loads of other stuff, too. The French Connection, all that stuff. But The Exorcist is the movie... Uh, that came out just after the devils had been crucified everywhere. And it's interesting because a lot of the themes that appear in The Exorcist are also in The Devils. Now, it's a different time frame. Uh, the Devils takes place in 1632. Uh, the Exorcist takes place in the 1970s, so you know the time frame is a little different. What makes all the difference, though, I think, well, no naked nuns in The Exorcist, but it also ends on, a, on an upbeat note. At the end of The Exorcist, and I guess it's a spoiler alert, good triumphs over evil. That's not the case in The Devils, and I think in a lot of ways that's the thing that really differentiates the two movies and really kind of is the statement that audiences made with their feet uh, by stamping them, by walking out of the devil, by any number of, of reactions that they might have had to it because it didn't give them what they expected. Anyway, so I had the chance to speak with William Friedkin and I asked him what he thought of The Devils, which came out just, you know, a, a month before, a, a year and a little bit before The Exorcist. And of course he knew the film because I think this guy has seen every movie ever made and certainly, you know, every movie of a certain vintage ever made. So The Devils fit perfectly into that category. Here's William Friedkin on The Devils. Why do you think that that movie was torn to pieces to shreds, literally, and then two years later, when The Exorcist came out, there was virtually no cuts made to it, and yet the, the topic's not that different. It's probably the way they were handled. Yeah. I mean, and the story. The, the Exorcist, in spite of its notoriety, was, was perceived to be a realistic presentation of real people in a supernatural uh, background, right. but uh, it was also uh, a popular novel before it was a film, and people came to it knowing what to expect. The other thing is the main difference. The answer to your question is the ratings board had changed and become more liberal from the time of the Devils to the time of the Exorcist. I mean, I uh, you, I love Ken Russell's early work. Mm -hmm. I thought some of his later work, like The Devils, was over the top and excessive. And if the ratings board perceives that that's the case, they come down very hard. X means excessive, really. Uh, so 
a movie may be great. I don't know your perception of the devils. You're writing a book about it. Uh, but uh, if it appears to be uh, excessive, um, they'll come down hard on it. If it appears to be part of the story, you know, they're, they're more tolerant. Right. I mean, naked nuns, yeah. it, it, it was uh, hard to make that a part of the story, yeah. although you did have the 17th century Devils of Loudoun as a, right. you know, uh, but that was all supposedly a hoax. I don't know. Yeah. They say it was something to do with the wheat. The wheat mm -hmm. crop had been gone bad and, and it had mm -hmm. fermented and literally formed like a crude form of LSD. Is one of the theories. That's interesting. Well, another could be mass hallucination. Mm -hmm.